Wondering how to choose the right dental school out of the dozens that are out there? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down everything that I wish I knew when I was applying to dental school and ultimately where to go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dr. Eli, a general dentist and future orthodontics resident who recently went through the wild ride of dental school not too long ago. I make videos about my lifestyle, dentistry, and everything in between. So if that's something you're interested in, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it with anyone else that you think might be interested. If you're a pre-dental student looking for some motivation or maybe a dental student that's interested in orthodontics, if you're someone that's curious about the field of dentistry in general, this is the perfect channel for you. So please, please, please make sure you subscribe and make sure that you stick around for all my vlogs and even watch my past vlogs where I vlogged my entire dental school journey. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Here are the five biggest things you should consider when choosing what dental schools to apply to and ultimately which to attend. Hey y'all, before we get into the video, I just wanna shout out the Gachi Scrubs. I got on this light blue top today. I know in one of my previous videos, you guys saw me wearing the navy blue top. I'm looking to throw these into my rotation when I'm in residency. I'm liking the light blue. I was looking for that hospital scrub type of look and you know those are light blue just like this. So I'm definitely looking to wear these during residency. Make sure you go shop the Gachi Scrubs and use my code STUDENTDRELI for 10% off. It'll be down in the description. Now let's get into the rest of the video. So the first things first, Costs and financial aid. The hot topic nowadays with the dental field is the amount of debt that you may incur going to dental school and if it's worth it when you get out of dental school and you're practicing as a dentist or a specialist. Let's be real, dental school is expensive. Private schools are charging upwards of $80,000 just for tuition. My school, Boston University, charges $90,000 plus for tuition alone. I would always compare costs and scholarship opportunities when it comes down to applying to dental schools and where to attend. Don't just look at the sticker price. Don't compare tuition versus tuition at one school or another. I would say look at the average debt of the dental school for the students that are graduating. I'm gonna put a real life example into play for you guys. So I attended Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine, but I'm from the state of Maryland. So my home school was University of Maryland School of Dentistry. Now when you look at just tuition alone, these numbers are going to scare you. I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to give you real information but look at the stark difference between what would be my home state school paying in-state tuition versus the school I just graduated from if I was going into my first year this year. At the University of Maryland, for a Maryland resident, the cost of tuition is $27,380 per semester. That puts you just above $54,000 for the year. The Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine tuition for next year $99,680 per year. That's almost double the cost. Now, most schools have a state school, so you should definitely look into applying to your state school, no matter what the circumstance is. More than likely, that's gonna be the cheapest school for you to attend, and you'll get a great education, no matter what dental school you go to. If I had to do it all over again, looking at what my debt looks right now, I would heavily consider attending my state school. I was in a unique position where I couldn't attend my state school because they had a DAT cutoff of a 16 in every science section and I got a 15 in organic chemistry. And I didn't wanna retake the DAT just for that one subject because that wouldn't guarantee me entry anyway. You can also look into different programs at different state schools around the country. For example, University of Maryland does charge a different tuition for residents versus out-of-state residents, but after your first year of living there, you can apply for in-state tuition. So it's a great deal for people, no matter if they're from in-state or out-of-state. As a result, schools like these are definitely more competitive. So the better of an applicant you are, the more options you're gonna have of where you can attend dental. So the second thing you should consider, and honestly, a lot of people don't think about this, but again, I want you to learn from the mistakes that I made when I was choosing a dental school. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my dental school. I love the school I attended. I would recommend it to just about anybody. However, there are some things that you should consider, especially if you're in the position where you have options of where you want to attend. Think about it. Dental school isn't just going to school, going home every single day. Well, let me, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. Some days it does feel like that. But you're gonna be living in these cities for four years. You need to consider the things there are to do, the cost of living, how far you'll be from your family, your support system, 
All of these things matter. Again, real life example. I applied to dental school during COVID. I did not have the chance to really visit the cities like I wanted to. I did not know that Boston was one of the most expensive cities to live in in the United States. So once again, when you're considering schools, you're looking at not only a price tag, for example at BU, of $99,000 a year in tuition, but you're also looking at the average rent price of a one bedroom at $3,000 plus dollars. This is a lot of money to take on as a dental student. And yes, debt is scary. Then again, you may be someone who knows that you gotta live in a city. You need to be in an urban area versus a rural area. So maybe somewhere like Boston University or NYU or Howard University in DC is a better bang for your buck than University of Alabama at Birmingham or University of Tennessee. I don't even know if these are like super rural areas, but I'm pretty sure those cities aren't as hustle and bustle as Boston, New York City, DC, you know? So think about what works for you. Weather, do you hate the snow? Don't go to University of Buffalo. Do you hate the heat? Don't go to Nova Southeastern, you know? These are things that you definitely have to consider when you're considering where to apply and where to attend dental school. Number three, the curriculum and your clinical experience. This matters. And let me tell you why. When you're in dental school, you are paying to learn a skill. You're learning how to be a great dentist. The more skills you learn, the better dentist you are, the more money you can earn fresh out of school. Attending a school where they have lots of CERIC machines and they focus on digital crowns and they let you place implants and they let you do Invisalign. These things are the future of dentistry. Quick intermission to the video. If you're watching the video and you've made this far and you're enjoying the content, please drop a like on the video. It's right here under the video. Just click the little thumbs up button. It's of no cost to you and it does so much to help boost the video and the channel in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. You are paying that tuition and you wanna make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. I will be honest with you. Every school's education is not created equally. Every school is making competent dentists, but at different levels. So before you look at the school and say, well, I'm gonna go here because it's $25,000 per semester. Are you just learning how to do routine fillings, crowns, etc.? Are you gonna have to pay a lot of that money in the future doing CEs to learn how to do digital crowns, to learn how to place implants, etc.? These are the things that your tuition money is going to. And if you know that you wanna be a very competent general dentist fresh out of school, it would make a lot more sense to go to a school that's very high tech, that's teaching things that are in the future of dentistry, that's teaching you how to do implants, teaching you how to do all on X cases, etc. So the curriculum matters. And I feel like when I was applying to dental school, I didn't know too much about this. But now as a general dentist, I know directly where my money went and how that's benefiting me graduating from dental school with my skills. Think about other things as well. How early are you guys getting into the simulation center? How early are you getting into clinic? When do you pick up a handpiece and start practicing your hand skills? Dentistry is practice makes perfect. Everyone starting from a baseline level, none of us have been dentists before, and the earlier you get to get your hands on to things and start practicing, the better you'll be when you leave school and want to start practicing dentistry as a professional. Number four, think about the reputation of the school and how you as a person will fit in. Does this school fit your learning style? Do you thrive well in a place where you have class ranks and it may be competitive? Or maybe you want to think about a school that has just pass fail grades. UConn, Harvard, schools like these, pass fail, it's a lot more relaxed. It's no competition amongst people. You can focus a lot more of your energy of just making sure you get your education, pass your classes, and have a good time with your classmates. The best way to find this out is by talking to current students at the schools that you're interested in. These students have been through the first year, the second year, etc. They can tell you their thoughts and how they feel about the school. And I can almost guarantee you, no matter what school you go to and talk to the students, they're gonna give you their honest opinion about the school. I give people my honest opinion about Boston University whenever they ask. And just like I said on camera, I love my school. I would recommend my school to a lot of other people. I know my school gives a great education. However, 
The cost is egregious. The price of living in Boston is egregious. There are things that I have my gripes about, but still, these are things that I leave to other people to judge whether they feel comfortable with. I'm not going to project how I feel about Boston or about the school onto someone else, but I'll give you the cold hard facts and let you use those in your decision. And the last thing you should look at is the outcomes, the alumni success. What are the alumni from these schools doing now? Are you looking to specialize when you leave dental school? So look at the schools and look how many people are specializing. Are you looking for a school that prepares you to go straight into work? You know you don't wanna do a residency. You wanna go out there and practice as soon as you're done. Ask the senior students, what are they doing when they graduate from school? What does their school look like in preparation for the real world? This is how you make a good decision of where you want to apply and attend dental school. And of course, there's a lot of variation when it comes to these things. If you watch my match day video where my class celebrated where people match, we had a lot of people match. 10 people in my class are going into orthodontic programs next year. This is nearly unheard of. I think last year they had maybe two or three in their graduating class. We have five, four or five people going into pediatric dentistry. We've got people going into prosthodontics. They're going everywhere. And I will say that I may be biased, but I do think my class was a very, very special class. However, I think that it's very important to talk to people at the schools and not just look at, okay, are people matching or not? Ask the students, did they feel supported by their school in their journey to want to specialize? Do they feel supported by the school in their journey to want to go straight out into practice? How is it trying to find a job from your school? What's the reputation that your school carries in the career field, etc.? Last but not least, don't avoid those gut feelings that you get about a school. I always tell people, when it comes down to your interviews, not only is it a chance for the school to get to know you, but it's a chance for you to get to know the school and get a feel out for the school. I remember when I was going through my interview trail, I had a school interview that I really didn't like. I felt like they didn't really want to interview me. The interview was a formality. And I thought, you know what? If this is what the next four years are going to look like, maybe that's not a place that I want to be. And there are other things like that that happen in my application cycle that help me decide that this school may not be for me. If I was reaching out and unable to get a response, how is that going to look in my professional school journey? I felt like professional school is stressful enough. I didn't want to feel like I could never get my questions answered when I needed them. I could never get a response from administration when I needed it. I did not want any extra stress. If I felt like these schools were doing things very late in the application cycle, I did not want to deal with that in my professional school journey. So all of these things are things you need to pay attention to during your application cycle. Make sure you're picking the school that's the right fit for you. So if you watch this video, leave a comment below. Let me know if you got something out of this video. Let me know what schools you're considering or what school might be your top pick. If this video helped you at all, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of videos for you to see if you're interested in dentistry, and I promise you, this is one of the best dental channels on YouTube. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you watch some vlogs and some other videos that I have here before you leave. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.